Welcome back to the channel guys. So the quarter panel came in, it is right here. We're gonna start taking off the bumper on this car, also the inside of the trunk and getting everything removed around the quarter panel so that I can start drilling out the old one, which is right here and start putting in the new one. Let's get to it. Next evening here guys, we're gonna continue to work on this quarter panel, taking off all the small trim around the whole quarter panel, getting everything ready for us to drill this out.
work is officially done we've gotten all of the exterior and interior trim away from this quarter panel including this airbag right here which i have taped up so no moisture gets on it i don't think it will be in the way but just in case i'm going to put my um weld through blanket over it or whatever that is protective blanket so it doesn't allow any of the welds to hit this airbag to make sure nothing happens to it now I was thinking about cutting the quarter panel right here or right here, connecting into this piece. If I cut it up here, then I will need to take off part of this roof and that will be a ton of extra work. So I'm trying to figure out where to cut this to splice this new piece in. So we're trying to figure that out now, but as of now, I'm going to start drilling out this quarter panel and getting it ready to be taken off. Now there's gonna be a lot of drilling and as you can see over here, seam sealer all over the seams at where this quarter panel comes in. So it's going to be a lot of chiseling and drilling all these holes out for the welds, for the spot welds that are underneath here. So let's get to drilling this out. With all the exterior trim and interior trim gone from this quarter panel as well as the airbag inside, it is time for me to start drilling out all the spot welds around here. But first, we got a package from Ford with some parts in it. Let's crack it open. So the stuff inside of the package was this trim right here, which goes on that door right there. You, as you can see, all the yellow little Hole, screw holes that's what this sits over and you screw this onto it and then you put the exterior like rubber trim on this as well and then that window slides right up, in, up into this so no water leaks into the door and as you know from the previous video ours was bent right where that uh, impact was right on the pillar we also got some screws for this piece as well because it was missing some when I took it off and we got a 5-0 nameplate for that fender because I accidentally broke the other one. And I'll let you guys guess how much this was. So now I got the flops on. 
Now we're going to start on the quarter panel.
is finally coming off. I just wanted to show you guys an inside view of what the corner pedal actually looks like down there. There's a ton of this sticky foam on either side connecting that quarter panel together. I'm not sure what that is, but I'll definitely need to order some for the new one right over there. So this is what it looks like so far. I'm having trouble getting this side off because I think there's a bunch of that sticky foam back there. But as you can see down there, there's a lot more sticky foam down there. As well as on this side, we have this whole piece off. The whole door is off and it's coming off pretty nicely, but I can feel more of that sticky stuff down there as well as this bottom section is all drilled out and pulled apart. Now, the only section that I'm not sure on would be this inner wheel well section. I do not know what is what it is connected to or how it is connected. So I'm going to have to figure that out, see if I need to cut or drill anything else, and we'll go from there. So let's try to get this piece off. Guys, this just shows how strong that seam sealer stuff is. This whole quarter panel is being held on by that little spot right there of seam sealer. This whole thing. Now, this thing is pretty heavy. That thing is pretty heavy, just lifting it up. But this thing just dangling by that much seam sealer. That's insane. Well, I'm about to get this off. And then, time to hit the hay. An interesting thing I thought I'd share with you guys about this module right here is, as you can probably see, there is no connector on the top side of this module. And I recently talked to some friends at work and they let me know that this module might just be a universal module for Ford as it is a lighting module. So this controls the rear lights. That's what this connector is for. So this top connector could possibly be for vehicles that have towing capabilities that need an extra set of lights on their trailer or something to control the lights on their trailer when they break on the vehicle. So I thought this was pretty cool as I was taking off this quarter panel 
seeing that this module was sitting there and that there was no connector in the top section. So this is what it might be. As I said before, this is a lighting module. So it controls the rear lights in this car. And this top section might be for a trailer option for some vehicles. But I thought it was pretty cool to figure out. The quarter panel is officially off the car, guys. I straightened out that wheel well as it was crushed and bent in. So that is perfect, ready to go. Now I just need to put some etching primer on that so it does not rust or corrode. Then I can start cleaning up this whole quarter panel, all of the previous drilled weld spots on the quarter panel. I'm gonna clean that up, grind it down, make sure the surface is perfect and ready for the new quarter panel. And with the new quarter panel, I have to drill a bunch of holes for the spot welds in that to connect it to this quarter panel right here once it is all cleaned up. So I have a decent amount of work on my hands. And as you guys saw previously, there is a decent amount of different substances I need like that foam right here. And there's a bunch of um, soundproofing um, seam sealer that's inside the old uh, quarter panel right there, as well as some seam sealer along these lines right here, along the wheel well. So I got a good amount of things to get. So this is gonna be it for now. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.